Hey guys, welcome to Tech Terminal, and today we'll be taking a look at the Cyanogen mod update 41 plus 1, which is the XNPH05Q. So it was kind of weird that I received it as an OTA update, as in India, Cyanogen mod has stopped supporting 1 plus 1 as of now. So quickly jumping over to settings and opening up about, we see that it is currently running the latest build. And if you guys have not received the OTA update, then you can always flash it. So the first issue that I had while shooting 4K UHD, even for one minute, was that the phone used to heat up up to 52 to 56 degrees celsius so now i will do that test again for another minute and check the cpu temps And now as you see the CPU temps are much better now compared to the previous readings and the physical feel of the heat has also decreased quite a lot. And now the temps drop much faster and that was fixed. So now comes the main test. The reason why we use our phones is to make phone calls and the dialer should be fast. So after this update the dialer tends to lag just a bit and the first number pressed sticks and then follows up with the rest in a matter of milliseconds. But still, this was not there in the previous version, so I would like to see this fixed in the next update very soon from Cyanogen. So the other things that I came across with this update was the bundled up Swift key, which I personally like, and previously there was a small substitute for the Swift key, which worked fine, but now, to activate SwiftKey, we will head over to settings, then input and then check SwiftKey and then disable all the other keyboards. And now as you see, I'm using SwiftKey. And the main question that I get most is about the battery life. It is better than, uh, like, is it better in this build or was it fine in the previous one? So. Speaking of battery, I didn't notice that much of a difference in battery life, at least in my day-to-day -day usage, but your mileage may vary. So now talking about the touch, which some people complained that it was too sensitive and all. So I called up Devang over at the Gadget Nerd and asked him about the touch issue that I didn't face such, but still, the answers from him were different. So let's check what Devang had to say. Hey guys, I've recently updated my OnePlus One from the Cyanogen OS version 44S. Uh, to the latest version that is 5Q through OTA. So with this update I am actually facing some touch related issues. Earlier I was not facing any kind of touch related issues on the 44S uh, but the latest update uh, the first issue that I am facing is with the double tap to wake feature which I really really liked on the 44S uh, version of the Cyanogen OS uh, but with the 5Q version sometimes when the phone is locked and when I double tap on the display to wake it up, sometimes it simply doesn't uh, wake up the display and it, it simply doesn't seem to detect my finger while double tapping. It simply doesn't detect the double tap gesture. So that's really really annoying sometimes. Do note that it happens sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time. The double tap to wake feature it happens sometimes but when it happens it's really annoying. The second issue that I'm facing uh, with the OnePlus One's uh, touch sensitivity on the latest update is uh, scrolling sometimes it just stops detecting uh, my finger while scrolling so uh, suppose I'm reading a web page or I'm scrolling through settings it gets really hard while scrolling you have to like press your finger against the display and scroll through web pages so that's really annoying sometimes it also note that it happens sometimes not all the times uh, so these are the two issues that I'm facing uh, with my OnePlus One with the latest update. So I really hope uh, that Cyanogen fixes these, these issues with their upcoming update, upcoming update as soon as possible. So it looks like that it might be the update that caused some small bugs here and there, but it's different on some different devices. So that's kind of strange. So another small update that came with this build is the audio effects that replaced the old equalizer. Anyways, so that's been it for this video guys and if you liked it, a like would be really appreciated. Comment your questions below as I read all the comments personally and stay subscribed for more contents on technology tips, tutorials and more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.